Hi guys, I'm James from Carbon Off-Road. Uh, today I just thought I would do a little bit of an unboxing of our 12,000 pound winch. Uh, I've been doing some work on the KUN26 Hilux, which is my beast um, behind us. And uh, while I've got the bar off, I'd like to put a new winch in. So I thought it was a great opportunity to be able to open up a winch box and show you exactly what it is that you get when you buy one of our winches. Okay, let's crack on. Open it up. Right, so one of the first things that you see is the owner's manual. It's good, it gives you a little bit of information on how to operate the winch and a little bit around uh, the installation. Pop that to the side. Oh, it's also got a sticker in the back for your car. Very importantly in Australia, we've got a carbon winch stubby holder. This little baby is an isolator. For those of you that haven't played with winches before, winches pull a lot of power when they're operating. So installing something like an isolator that gives you the ability to engage the power to the winch when you're in the bush. So as soon as you hit the bush, you put the key in, you turn it on. Um, for 95% of your driving, when you're driving around town to and from work, you can have the power isolated. So it means that high potential isn't connected to the winch all the time. And that's a, a pretty sound thing to do. Opening up, so we got the control box in here, in there. One of the first things you'll see is the manual remote. So this is the wired remote. It's rubberized, it's very rugged, okay? And for a lot of people, they still love a wired remote. Always carry this with you. Uh, my own personal experience, wireless batteries, sometimes you can have a few too many beers, uh, forget to turn them off, or they just fail on you at the wrong time. So always, you know, even though most people use a wireless remote these days, take this with you. All right, there's the control box itself. So this is a 12,000 pound winch. All right, comes with a wireless remote. Now, unlike a lot of other wireless remotes out there, um, this one, the receiver is actually inside the box and it's got a phenomenal amount of different codes it can be. So you've never got to worry about uh, the signal uh, affecting your mate's winch and setting it off, okay? To turn uh, the little remote on, you just simply hold both buttons down for a couple of seconds and then the repeat to turn it off, okay? Comes with all the cabling in there. Look, making a mess, trying to put all this down. There we go, cabling for your isolator. And if you can see in there, there's a little lanyard for your little wireless remote and all the boots and everything that you need to do the installation. Moving on, what do we got in here? It's in here, ah, there we go. So there we go, there's a mounting plate for your isolator. So one of the things we wanted to do was give you the, like, the ability to install it easily in your car. So the isolator basically goes in there and you can mount it inside your engine bay. Right, so what do we got in here? It's a little breather unit. There's a breather. So all of our winches come standard with a breather. Because uh, this is a winch that's been designed and engineered by four drive enthusiasts, a breather is just something that makes your winch last a long time. You can seal a winch as good as you want, but when it gets when it's operating, it gets really, really hot, and then you go through a bog hole or do a river crossing, um, that, can, that heat difference where you go from a really hot winch that's out in the air to submerging into water and that's cooling it down will create, create contraction the contraction will pull water in past the best seals so what a diff oh, sorry not a diff breather what a winch breather will do is it allows it to um, breathe a little bit during that contraction phase so it'll suck air in through the dry little uh, diff breather that'll be mounted up in your engine bay somewhere um, and won't suck water in past your seals and so that is brilliant that's why we can offer five years on water ingress. So in here we just got the mounting bolts. Uh, what are we in there? We've got a fair lead first. This is the universal fit fair lead. Okay, so it gives you a couple of different mounting options uh, that you can do, you know, depending on what style of bull bar you've got and how the mounting pattern fits up. So in here, next, get rid of that box. There is your hook. So this is a pin style hook. Uh, it's really easy. The rope will have the um, little eyelet on it and you literally pull the pin out, fit the hook. That means you can replace a hook or take it on and off. Uh, these days, people have their personal preference on the type of hook, but this is an extremely strong hook. Um, 
There we go. Done deal. Now we're getting to the good thing. The winch itself. All right, there we go. Gotta make sure I don't drop it on my foot when I'm wearing my Chinese safety boots, which is a pair of flip flops. Here we go. All right. So one of the things I want to show you first, diff breather. So when we were talking about that unit, it's already mounted and sealed into the motor side of the winch. I'll we'll flip it over so you can actually see it from the front side. And there she is. That's the carbon 12,000 pound winch.